What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're gonna be picking up our OEM hardtop for the S2000. Now the OEM hardtop is one of the hardest and rarest parts to find for the S2000. That's because they're discontinued just like the S2000 is. And today we're gonna be finally getting our hands on one. With that being said, we have a two hour drive to get the hardtop. So without further ado, let's get into it. Stuff and look what we found. Learning about the Everglades. Interesting fact. It says here more than 40% of all winter vegetables sold in the United States, in addition to sugar and other crops, come from South Florida from the Everglades. It's here, all the way to past Key West. A lot of it actually was used for agricultural use and then after developed for residential. Mm -mm -mm. Shame. Guys, so we're about halfway to our destination and I'm getting really excited. OEM hardtops are one of my favorite parts for the S2000. So what do you guys think? The soft top's looking really nice on the S2000. What do you guys think? Hard top or soft top? Should I leave the soft top? Get the hard top? Leave the OEM top? The Megan Rep hard top? Or soft top? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What's up guys so we finally made it to sergi's shop and we're about to throw the oem hard top on but what do you guys think about the soft top it looks so good without the top let's flip over to the oem hard top but that just looks immaculate so pristine huge shout out to sergi for hooking me up with this top it looks amazing can't wait to get it onto the car so without further ado here we go Huge shout out to Serge for hooking me up with this OEM hardtop. It looks so sick in this Grand Prix white. Now I understand that Grand Prix white might not look good on Real Yellow Pro, but who knows, I might be painting this Berlina black or maybe color matching it. You guys let me know in the comments below, what do you think I should do? Color match, Real Yellow Pro, Berlina black, keep it white, or no top at all. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Be prepared for some JDM goodness. Here we go. Whoa, how sick is that, guys? Check that out. Next to the Supra, R32 GTR, FD RX7, ISF, and the MR2 T Top. How sick is this lineup, guys? This is like the dream garage here. 300 ZX. 
and the TSX. I actually need the motor out of this car. If anyone knows anyone selling a K24 A2, let me know please in the comments below. I'm looking for a K24 A2 for the new project car. I don't know if I've said too much, but you guys might be able to you guys might be able to guess what that is. Check out this sick van, this, this old school Nissan minivan. And surprisingly, it's left hand drive. Check out that interior, that burgundy interior. So good, so sick. Everybody knows I love MK4 Supras. Jeez, so sick. And hopefully one day Sergio will be able to source me one of these. Sergio's got some really sick cars in his garage. Some really, really nice JDM cars. It's R32 GCR, super sick car. Just pan out a little bit. How sick is this, guys? Sergi's House of Wheels. Be sure to follow Sergi on Instagram, Boosting Surge. And uh, be sure to check out his YouTube page as well, also Boosting Surge. I'll link it here and link it in the description as well. Check him out if you want to see more of these cars, guys. Boosting Surge. I love R32 GTRs. Look how clean this is in this gray. I'm not sure what the name of this color is, but it's so sick, guys. And of course, a timeless JDM machine, this MK4 Supra. Should also mention that this old school Nissan minivan is super sick as well. But how sick is that? And of course, you can't forget the fuzzy dice. <laughs> super sick. Look at that burgundy interior, full burgundy interior. So sick, super clean. Bro, R32 GTR, FD RX7, Lexus ISF, and then MR2 SW20. How oh, sick, guys. This is super clean as well. Let's check out this FD. Super nice. So clean. Guys, this MR2 behind me is super clean. Now, I'm not going to say that I got an MR2. However, I do need a K24. And an MR2 would be a really good fit for a K24, right? I don't know. Maybe I said too much. We'll see. Stay tuned. Look at the interior in this thing. How oh, sick. Super clean seats. Everything super pristine MR2. Of course, there's like a little bit of paint fade on it, but that's expected. MR2s, they're older cars, so usually they all have a little bit of paint fade. Surge always has the nicest whips. Check them out on Instagram, Boosting Surge as well as his YouTube channel, Boosting Surge. I'll link it here and in the description as well. Sorry if you can't really see guys because of the rain, but come to Naples and not see all that Naples has to offer. Look at this view. Are you kidding me? How nice is this? What a wonderful sunset, huh? See, you don't really get this on the other side. On, on the east coast. Look at that. Guys, look how beautiful this sunset is. Florida. Doing it up. Florida style. West coast. There's a nice 
Yeah, there's a nice pier down there. Nice boardwalk. How beautiful that sunset is. Nice waves crashing in. How nice is that? Beautiful. Doesn't get much better than that. Guys, so we're almost home. The hard top is on the car. We've still got about a half an hour on so we're home. As you guys can see, it's raining. A rainy nights here in Florida. But we got the hard top mission complete. Should I keep it? Is there anyone interested in it? Should I put the other hard top back on? Let me know in the comments below, guys. Just like that, we've reached the end of today's video. As always, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to smack that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace.